Hello and welcome, this is Politic Revolutionar here to today with Europa Universalis 4, Mandate of Heaven. So, right now we're going to be breaking our tributary status to Ming, and we are going to be preparing for a possible eventual war against them. We also have the ability to change our government rank to Kingdom, so we will do that. That does give us extra um, prestige, which is excellent. And we need to look for our allies. Um, unfortunately, Bengal does not seem to be very willing to ally us. However, now we're a great power. And that entails a good a lot of things, actually. In addition, our splendor is increasing at a splendid rate. Sorry, I have to make that bad pun. And yes, feeling good. So, Ming might attack us at some point, but I'm not quite sure. We can declare war on Chagatai and attempt to call it, um, Kam. Unfortunately, that would entail, that wouldn't entail a war against Ming because Chagatai broke their tributary status to Ming. If you're wondering why, it's because Chagatai has Yarkand as a vassal. And so if you look at established established tribute. You see, Chagatai has a subject of its own, which means they're not going to accept a tributary status, which probably means that every time that Mink demands tributary status from um, Chagatai, they break it because of the fact that they have Yarkand as a vassal, which is quite fortunate for us, because it means that we can still expand into the west. Sorry, I forget my direction sometimes. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, let's declare war and call it come. Let's declare war for their capital, I suppose. This is, um, it really doesn't matter which province we declare war for because, um, they're all going to end up the same. So, let's end that. Let's detach some infantry, some cavalry in order to try to minimize attrition a little bit. Unfortunately, that province has a rather high, um, rather low, how do you call it? Um, come. What provinces do you want? You only want those two, so you wouldn't mind if I took that. By the way, um, I could royal marry you, but I don't know if I should really. Taking another loan, that's unfortunate, but we're we're going to be okay. Oh, I did not mean to move you over there. No. Count sieging that down is fine enough. And it seems that Chagatai has just gone off on their own. Oh no. They're here. They are here already. Right. We're gonna get there on the eighteenth. Excellent. Unfortunately, our free shock leader is not going to be available. Ha <laughs> ha! That is so funny. Fortunately, his movement is locked, so... Yeah. I'll just stand here, take a bit of attrition. But we'll live. Okay. And continue sieging down their provinces. This is an easy war. Oh yes, we should indeed take war taxes. Oh, our inflation is actually rather high. Let's reduce it by one notch. Okay. And then we can send this army over here. Are there any actual forts in this area? No, Chagatai is surprisingly devoid of forts. That's interesting. Take free cavalry and send them over there in order to avoid attrition. It's no good when you lose 1% of your army every month. We can lose 10 prestige or lose other things that we don't want to lose. I choose to lose 10 prestige. Let's send both of those armies up there. We'll keep that army over there, I suppose. 
Yep. They did hand over the province to us. Let's demand that as vital interest as well. Oh. And to check I actually won that battle. Very interesting. Sorry, no, um, come. I actually won that battle. Why is that? Um, tech 8, tech 7, tech 8. So I suppose it's just that they had better initial tech or something like that. I know not. Okay. Oh, actually, they're retreating. So if we could just send our death stacks somewhere. Hmm. Lose 10 army tradition. Let's take the army tradition loss. And we stack wiped the enemy army. Excellent. Now let's just carpet siege. Okay. This is going to be a very easy end to the war. And you can just go down there and siege that. Because the enemy armies are utterly broke. Excellent, we defeated that army. Okay. And split you up and send three of you there. The carpet siege begins. And the enemy of our empire ends. Okay. Got the gold province under our control, and we're at 85% war score, meaning. Once a couple of more of these finish, we'll be able to just demand whatever we want. Okay, retreat. Unfortunately, that was an unfortunate defeat, but, well, what are you going to do about it? And we're at 99% war score, so we can demand whatever we want. So I'm going to actually leave this connection between Chagatai and Ming. So that main purpose will be basically just to keep on them in wars against Ming for tributary status. And then, do they have any more gold provinces? Because I know they had one, which I'm taking. Uh, where's trinkets? Trinkets. No, they only have that. Okay. That's fine. So, well, we do want new borders with someone, so up to here maybe? Take up to there, and take up to there. Like, don't take random land. Take land with a purpose. Oh. Like that? Suppose we can not take those. We can take land, like... Hmm. We can take land like this. Two arms splintering, one reaches down into here, and then one reaches up there. It's an awful lot of border gore, but hey, what are you gonna do about it? Okay. Now let's take our entire screen worth of armies and then move them to that province since that seems to have a decent supply of them in. This is our gold province, so I'd rather not burn it to the ground. Let's burn the rest of it too. Okay. And 
and yeah, it doesn't give us as much as it gave before, but it still gives us a decent amount. We do need some vassals soon. Either way, with this new border, we can begin expansion into India. Ming does wish us to become a tributary state. That's interesting. Oh, and we have a civil war progression. Oh, well. That's going to end soon. Not soon. We need to... gather up the armies and prepare for something else okay so I think taking justified wars might actually be the best thing right now because our AE is gonna start rising in this area fortunately we're um, in a very diverse region in terms of religions so, we're going to be able to ignore most of this. Janissaries. I think that was Janissary Decadence? Or was that just plain Janissaries? Either way, let's take some corruption in order to pay off that loan. And we have two loans. Okay, that's going to help our economy a bit. Move over here, Kazakh. Yeah, you have no allies, you're just gonna fall. Wait, what did we do? I don't know what we did. But now what we're doing now oh, I'm disappointed. Oh Chagatai is at war with Kazakh. That's unfortunate. Still we'll be able to take at least that one province. And Ashitaga is going to apparently insult us. How rude of them. Okay, take the province. Take their money. That's going to help with our debt. And just core, <laughs> since we can't loot it. These two provinces, we can now make a core. And religious connections with Korea and Ming. Interesting. So, yeah, your trust is, no. Your trust is really high, actually. Interesting. Again, Uzbek has no allies. So, we're going to follow the traditional horde way and defeat them in the field of battle. Easy stack wipe, that's a forge right there. Send you there. And basically just send everyone to Carpet Siege. Because Carpet Siege is apparently our favorite new thing. Actually, send the kin into the fort. And the cavalry can just continue on to that province. We just need to get that horde unity up to be honest. Up to 75. 74. Um, core creation cost. Uh, this 
is a heart. Okay. And that means that the disaster is no longer valid. Excellent. Let's keep on trying to increase our horde unity. And there we go. Quick Blitzkrieg. Take that. We can make them a tributary or we can make them a vassal. Um, I don't know, making them a... no. How about neither, because they're at war with Muscovy. Oh, wait. Wait a second, we need to raise this land. Get that nice horde unity. That's actually a pretty decent province. And it being at 12th development means it's rather ideal for a spawn in an institution. Now, let's definitely take this tech. That tech gives us something that we really want. And that is states. As for this, we should probably take the National Rest Advisor. Oh shit, we were supposed to... We needed to... Do something else with that, but... Oh well. So, we've got new borders. Um, let's just apply them at here. Probably really low. Well, let's go down there. Um, we're going to need to start expanding in India. Indian expansion is going to be very tricky with coalitions. At least the Europeans don't mind us. Okay. And strategic interest plus 12,222. I wonder how's mandate looking. It's only negative 13, or negative 0 0.13 for us, and they're still gaining because of prosperity. Hopefully autonomy change. What does this one do? Oh. Wait. I don't know what that reform does. Hmm. Castles Belli to unite China. Stuff, stuff. Okay. I don't know. Pegu becomes a tributary of Ming. Well, for our rivals, we can choose Timurids, Bengal, and Delhi, and the rest have larger armies than us. Hmm, Bengal might work, but I prefer to have an alliance with them, but it seems like that won't happen. <coughs> My apologies. People need to cough sometimes, I'm sorry. We can ask for contribute warriors, but that's not really necessary. And in all of this new land, let's just raise autonomy. I don't want to fight rebels.
think we can rival Delhi, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea, maybe not. Yarkin Separatists seem pretty mad still. Didn't I just raise autonomy in all their provinces? Oh no, Yarkand. My mistake. It's this land. Okay. So, just raise autonomy in it. Even the gold province. Yeah, and that should just keep those rebellions down. Split the army. Glorious con. Oh, this stuff. Oh, really? Shagatai has reveled us. Not sure what that's going to help them with. Other than securing themselves an early death. Um, Timurids would join in that war. Timurids, you have to join in that war. Are they your vassal? You're not... Are they your ally? Wait, what? That's plugged. Also, how do you have Hassa as a tributary? Um, either way. Wait, what's your relation? Your vassal. How large is the Timurid army? Military armies. Timurids, 24k. This. Mountains. Both. I think I can defeat the Timurids. Um. Maybe if I try to ally them. And the problem is I need to go for this land, so... I suppose war with the Timurids it is. I can't exactly stop it. Mm. Don't like it that. Age of Discovery is ending in 119 months. Interesting. Also interesting how we took another loan. Hmm. Okay. Suppose we can declare war on the Timurids, but I'm not too happy with it. At least we're independent of Ming. What's... Well, their disaster... Can't remember how long it takes to tick, but... We have no truce. And it's been a long time, so... I don't know. Hopefully, Ming falls. Hopefully. Also, we have to keep a mind out of Korea. No, we can't declare war on them because of Ming. Mm. Interesting, we're gonna have a interesting time weaving through India and attempting to not fight Ming. We can't fight Ming yet. We need a larger army. About, I don't know how many. Ming has 92k, but yeah, our 29k can't beat 92, so yeah. We should try keeping that force limit, but we can't exactly, so so we should start trying to, f um, trying to do the objectives of the Age of Reformation. We can't obviously join the Reformation. Humanist or religious, we can do. Convert provinces, create a colonial empire, convert another nation. Asian trade and unified culture, we can do. Either way, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.